Jack from B&T McFarland. Today we're going to go over some backhoe safety tips that you should be using when you're using your Kubota tractor or any tractor for that matter. Backhoes are becoming an increasingly popular attachment that people put on their tractors. This one right here, it's fit on an LX2610, so this is a BH77 backhoe. And for its size, it's incredibly powerful. You're gonna be able to lift several hundred pounds with it. It's gonna have a reach and a digging capacity at about seven and a half feet. So you can dig seven and a half feet straight out. You can reach out to the side, that's seven and a half feet to either the left or the right hand side. So with that, you're able to put yourself in a bit of a position where if you have too much of a weight over to one side or the other side, you can get yourself into a dangerous position. So today we're going to go over some of the tips and some of the kind of positions that you can put the back in and the stabilizer arms in to kind of maximize the safety that you get while you're using the back this right beside me, this is the safest position that you can put your backhoe in and your tractor in while you're operating it. What I've done here is I've used the front loader bucket to pick the front tires up off the ground. They're up off the ground several inches, probably two or three inches up off the ground. And then there's also these stabilizer arms on every single backhoe that we sell from Kubota. And these are gonna be your best friends while you're using this backhoe. At the very least, if you can't put yourself in a position where you can put the loader bucket down, make sure that you have these stabilizer arms down because you never know if you're on some kind of an incline or a slope and you put that backhoe out to the left or the right hand side these tractors they can be very tippy alone with the loader bucket and even more so with the backhoe especially how far it hangs off the back you can almost twist and spin the machine over if you don't have these stabilizer arms down there's a couple key properties of these stabilizer arms as well. Right now they're in a position where if you're on a soft ground, this is like pad down uh, configuration, they'll actually bury themselves down into the ground. So this is another thing to be mindful of, is if you're in a softer con uh, condition, digging in maybe a swampy or wet area, these stabilizer arms, they will really plant themselves deep into the ground. You can flip them around to give them more surface er uh, area so they don't plant themselves as much, or you can also put a piece of wood or a piece of rubber inside of that. It's called a rubber flip pad so that you'll actually float on top of the surface that, that you're using. But if you're on a harder surface like this concrete here, then using it th this way is no problem at all. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when you use the backhoe without any of the stabilizer arms down or that front end loader down. You can see immediately that if you're on anything but completely flat surface, it's going to be very rough and not very stable whatsoever. So if I shake the backhoe side to side, you can see immediately how this could put yourself in a dangerous situation if you're on any kind of slope or uneven ground. It's not bad if you're on asphalt or a very hard surface, but it's definitely not the safest position you want your backhoe to be in while you're using it. When you're up here operating the backhoe, one of the biggest things you want to be mindful of, again, is to always wear your seatbelt. Just like when you're going to drive the tractor fours using the, the loader, you want to keep that seatbelt on so in the event of a rollover, this bar is rated to protect the entire weight of the tractor. So if you do have the backhoe way out to the side like this and you're digging way out there and for whatever reason you hit a rock or hit a rut and you end up flipping over, it will protect you from a rollover situation. Another thing to keep in mind while you're using the backhoe on a tractor is what kind of slope you're, you're on. So if you're on a big in inclined slope and you're actually trying to dig maybe down into a ditch or anything like that, you have to be careful about the angle you're on as well because if you're digging on a sideways slope and you put that bucket with a giant load over to the right hand side of the tractor, again you can flip that, that tractor as well. Another thing to keep in mind as well, if you're digging on a forward facing slope where the tractor, the loader side is much higher than the backhoe side, that's actually not too bad but you do have to keep in mind you want to keep your emergency brake on just in case these stabilizer arms they plant themselves a little bit too far into to the ground and then if you're in neutral which you should be at all times while you're using a backhoe so neutral with an emergency brake on and if you're facing forward the stabilizer arms plant you can actually start rolling uncontrollably and if you're going towards a creek or a river or anything like that or if you're digging in your pond you might not be able to have the reaction time to get that backhoe planted into the ground in order to stop yourself from rolling that tractor right into the pond. Now it's time to talk about repositioning your backhoe. The safest way to do that is to, again, plant all your stabilizers down into the ground as well as your front loader. And then when you go to reposition, what you'll do is you'll pick everything up and then you'll move the tractor either forward or reverse depending on which way your trench is going. 
And again, there's a couple backhoes, especially on larger ones that are bigger than the LX series. They do come with two seats. So you'll have a, a seat up in the loader station or the operator's platform. And then you'll have a second seat that hangs off the back of the tractor where you can operate the backhoe. One of the most dangerous things that, that you can do is have somebody in the back seat and in the front seat. You definitely do not want that. You want one operator per tractor at all times. So safety isn't just when you're using the backhoe, it's also when you're transporting a tractor with a backhoe on it, as well storing the backhoe. So a lot of times if you have the backhoe in the storage position, say you have it in your garage and it's leaned up against the, the garage, these cylinders, they do leak internally from time to time. So after about two to three weeks, you'll notice that this boom, it can actually swing down and you don't want to park your car on the other side of that because this backhoe, it can weigh up to several thousand pounds and that'll put a nice dent in, in your car. So what Kubota does is a, a lot of the larger backhoes, you have this uh, clamp here and it basically holds the backhoe from falling forward and in some smaller backhoes, it will be a separate pin that'll prevent it from falling backwards towards whatever is back there. And then when you're transporting it as, as well, Kubota, they put this pin right here and this fits right there. And that prevents it from swaying side to side. So if you have this on a trailer and you're going on a long haul, you don't want that backhoe banging from side to side in the back of your trailer. I just wanted to thank you guys for watching and hopefully this video allows you to use your backhoe a little bit more safely, especially if you're a newer tractor owner. And as always, if you needed help with parts, sales or service, give us a call at 613-225-0555. Thank you.